Patrick and I own McDonald Timing and this is the very first video in our Timing Basic series which is an introductory series covering the basic aspects of using a finish links camera for timing and scoring of a track and field event or cross-country event and maybe even road race down the line. It is going to be a, a series geared to people that are just starting out with, with timing. So if you are familiar with all these concepts, then they might not be that useful to you, but feel free to watch away anyway. Uh, but we're going to cover things in a very shallow but very diverse manner in order to make sure that you have a relatively high level of background on all the concepts to make sure that you can solve your way out of any given situation. When you go out and do training for people, it's usually a six to 12 hour series where we are working hand in hand. We're showing them, we're setting up, we're tearing down, we're doing all the things that they need to, to do in order to experience what it's like to hopefully time an event. Um, and it's very difficult to get that across through a course or whatever, you know, so there's a reason that we, nobody's done a, a Udemy uh, style course, but this is hopefully going to at least create a small bridge for people to understand uh, what's going on and what they can do and things that they can do to do this job better and have a better understanding of the equipment that they have. So, as I said, we are going to be using finish links. Uh, we will also be using uh, Meet Pro or Meet Pro 2, technically speaking, for our meat management software. And then uh, down the line, when we're doing cross country slash road race stuff, we'll be using IPCO equipment, either an Elite or a Super Elite uh, for dual frequency or ultra high frequency. And we'll be talking about all the things that you might need to have access to in order to do this competently. Um, one thing that, that I hope to, to get across during the, the, the whole process of, of this series is that when eventually something does go wrong, I hope that you have the tools or the background needed so that you can solve your way out of the problem. Um, I saw a quote recently where if, a, uh, if somebody is flying a plane and they find out that they've got a minute before the plane crashes, a regular person is going to spend that minute panicking about their upcoming death. Whereas if it, a test pilot is told that they have a minute before they're going to crash into the ground, they, they're going to say, well, I have a minute to save this plane. And that's where I hope to get you by the end of the series, that you understand that there's when you have the opportunity to get yourself out of a hole, you can do so, you can do so really quickly, and you can move on from the things that might happen. And there's a whole variety of things that, I, that can or will go wrong eventually while you're doing timing, and it, it would be impossible to go through one by one by one and say, this is what you do in this situation, this situation, this situation. But the goal of this course is to give you a broad enough background to know where to start trying to, to problem solve and what kind of questions you need to be asking of yourself in order to get to the, the correct solution to move on and move forward. So, um, as I said, we'll be using finish links and IPGO gear and also a Meet Pro product. And so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave it down below in this video or any of the other videos. If you have anything that you would like to see covered, please feel free to leave it down in the comments below or shoot an email over to me. So with that said, let's get started. 